They had Neuro at the thrift store today, so it was it was a good one. So please stick around. Hi friends, my name is Claire and this is my channel, Woodshed Theory. Here, I make content about what it is like to live as an adult on the autism spectrum and whatever else feels good to me. So if that sounds good to you or if you're feeling particularly gracious today, and I hope that you are, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, ring the bell. I almost forgot to mention that I put out videos a few times a week, so click the like and the share. Help me get to 25K before the end of the year. If you feel like I've been low energy the past few videos, it's because I have. How are you? I have a busy day ahead. I already went grocery shopping and I have to take all of the photos for the drop I'm doing tomorrow, the hat drop, which is gonna be at 6 p.m. PST. So come to the live stream at that time on this page and you can have a chance to win a free hat. No purchase necessary, boy, we're prohibited. You know the deal. I've gone to the thrift store several times this week. Um, today I went back and surprise, surprise, they put more yarn out. The yarn section has been empty. Ugh, like just terribly empty. Uh, so I thought, and it was empty yesterday. So either it was going to be empty today or they were going to restock. And I went in this morning and they had restocked with some better stuff than usual. So I was really excited to uh, show you what I picked up. I do have to say, if you're a yarn thrifter like me, it can be hit or miss. So this was definitely a hit. And sometimes when they put out some hits, that means it's going to be like a season of hits. They've got more coming. And the best thing is when they put out really good stuff and they price it the same as the cheap stuff. That's my favorite. Like they don't know what it is or what it looks like. And it's not furry yarn or velvet yarn. So they don't think it costs anything. And then they put it cheaper than the crappy yarn. It's the best. It's the best. Why have I been tired? I don't know. I, I think I must be getting over a sick bug. I had like some tummy issues at the beginning of the week. And I've just been tired and weak, but also like having trouble sleeping. So I was pumped to get this stuff today and I can't wait to show you. Not all of it was like expensive yarn. For example, They had Parfait Color Fusion Chunky from Premier Yarns. This is two in the color vintage and it was $3.99, so $2 each, which is cheaper than you can get them retail. I always think it's funny when they have the dollar store premiere at the thrift store and it's, it's more expensive than the dollar store. This was not the case. I think these usually go for about five or $6 each, so $2 a piece is good. I do have something to admit, I forgot to bring yarn to donate to get my coupon. So these I had to pay full price for. So I could have saved maybe $4 off my order. And I feel like a failure because of that, but I did get 20% off something else I, I got this week that I'll show you at the end. Color Fusion Chunky. Never had it before, excited to try it. I thought it looked like, well, a rainbow, but also like a macaw parrot. Then for 50 cents more, they had another color. Wildflower. It's like blues and oranges. It kind of reminds me of like a California poppy. So these are 100 grams? No, yes, 100 grams, 109 yards each. 100% acrylic. Such pretty colors. So these were $2 each. These were $2.25. But I still thought that was a really good deal for Premier. If you shop from Premier. Um, it's not that Premier is super expensive. But Premier's shipping is expensive. So if I can find it somewhere else, I love that. Okay, sometimes this was $2.99. Sometimes at the thrift store, I do open the bags. 
uh, because I want to see if it is what I think it is and not waste my money if it's not. Most of this bag is kind of a flop. For example, this is big twist value, not even a full ball. So it will probably go. Oh, and they stapled it to the price tag. Um, so it will probably go back <laughs> into the donate pile. But they had this. Uh, this was also not that important to me. It's really thin and not something I would normally use. It is Sashin Mar since 1822, Katina Fine Originals, 100% cotton. Sometimes when I get the thin cotton, so I honestly, I'll save it and use it as string. So that's not a big deal. The reason I got this though, Oh, I knew it, what it was when I saw it, guys. Because I've had this before and I've gotten this exact color from this same thrift store like over a year ago. It is 70% baby alpaca, 30% silk, lace weight, 440 yards, shimmer, nitpick shimmer in the color spice. It doesn't actually have a shimmer to it, but it has this beautiful dimension. It reminds me of like a pumpkin spice kind of deal. Silk and alpaca for $2.99. Mm, yes. Let me look up real quick how much this goes for. Okay, so you can get them on Etsy for like $7.50 to $9 now. I think it's a discontinued yarn. Probably originally they were probably about $14, but I can't say no to how soft and wonderful it is. It's so, so nice. I can't leave a hank of silk and alpaca at the store for $3. As I said, I've had it before, so I recognize the color, but I could not see the tag in the bag. So um, I did rip the bag open just to make sure I knew what I was getting. Because the thing about knowing what you're getting, that if it doesn't have the tag, I can't be 150% sure. Like if I used it in something to sell or if I sold it, I want to be able to make sure I know what it is before I'm selling it. So that's important. <sighs> Guys, this might be my favorite thing I found today. Look at this. $4.50. Same price as acrylic, okay? Cascade. Oh, wow. Cascade 2020 Paints has a price tag of $14 on it. This should be 100% wool, right? 100% Peruvian Highland wool. Oh, how, oh my gosh. Do they have a color name on it? 9931. 220 yards, enough for a hat. Look at that. Wow. Are you kidding me? Wow. And it gets better. There were two. Oh, does this not have? Interesting. This one doesn't have a tag on it. It's so beautiful. <gasps> This is hand dyed. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Look at the colors. Look, look, look. Wow. I thought they were both Cascade, but this one, as I mentioned, doesn't have a tag on it. Wow, this is absolutely hand dyed. You can tell because, well, you can just tell if you know what you're looking at, but wow. Mm, it's wool or something. 
that might be one of the nicest things that I got today, even though it's not labeled. It's probably about 200 meters of a four weight. Gosh, if you could see the colors, they're so dynamic. Can you believe that? Oh, a good day at the thrift store, guys. Doesn't always happen. So yeah, this is a, I'd say this was at least, if it's a hand dyed Hank, if it's still Cascade, it's probably another $14, but this looks a little bit more bespoke than Cascade. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to think, but definitely at least a $15 Hank. This one feels a little bit scratchier than this one. Oh my gosh. It's so fluffy. Mm. Love it. And those were $2.25 each. Finally, this was $3.99. And again, sometimes you have to buy crap to get the good stuff. In this was... Ugh. Okay, here we go. A semi-used ball of Karen Simply Soft, which will probably go back to the thrift store. And then also, I need to go back this week to see if they'll put more out. Sometimes they do. Are you ready? I don't know what that noise was. This is Neuro. I've never had this kind before. I talk about Neuro a lot. Oh my gosh. Look at the Angora. Okay. I talk about Neuro a lot because it is a Japanese yarn company. They make the most beautiful yarn probably on the planet. It's, I think, my favorite brand. The colors are so so, so pretty. This one's hanked up. I'd say it's leaning on a bulky five. Oh my gosh. You see those little white hairs? So you know what that means? It's color number 12, lot A, 130 meters. It is not it. Nadashiko, Nadashiko, it's 40% Angora, 39% wool, and 21% silk. Oh my gosh. Just, uh, if you just want to hang out and watch a lady rub yarn on her face, you've come to the right place. Wow. I'm going to look up real quick how much these usually cost. I'm going to guess maybe like $22 a hank. Uh, you can buy it now for $20, but originally these retailed at $25 a hank for good reason. I mean, it's a luxury fiber. Now, I maybe if you're not familiar with Neuro, I have a, I have a rather big collection, which I may be selling, so watch out for that. But if you're not familiar... They're inspired by nature. Um, the colors are inspired by nature. It's meant to look a little bit more homespun, but the colors are, I mean, the, oh, I love it. This is such a good find. 25 bucks a hank. I don't doubt it. I love it. What a good find. What a good we get the thrift store. The other thing I got at the thrift store yesterday. A little bit different for me. And before I show it to you, I want to know, I want you to know that I know that not everybody is okay with leather. So for that, if you're not okay with it, you might want to click off. Know that I got this at a thrift store. I didn't buy it directly from anybody. Saved it from the landfill. So here we are. But the deal was too good. And I did have a coupon for 20% off. 
there was one piece that was cut into this piece right here. It is like a, oh, like a wine red. I'm thinking it's kid leather. Is it called a pelt if it's a full piece? So I've got four full ones that I got for $2.50 each, guys. $2.50 each. Uh, if you buy something like this online, at least $35 each. Look at the color. It's so fit and soft. It's thin enough to sew. So I've got four huge ones. So I can make anything. What should I make? A dress? A coat? A bag? This is the leather side. But this side, oh, it feels so nice. How could you pass that up? As somebody who makes clothes and enjoys working with raw materials, this is so nice. And I figured too, if I don't want it to be red, I can use like leather ink on it, leather dye and, and make it black. But you can see that the edges are um, are raw because it, it actually is a hide. And they're all labeled too, as they are when they're real. This one says something like J Pine. Not exactly sure what that means. But yeah, I was able to snag these for $2.50 a piece. I did get the partial one also for $2.50 a piece. You'd think it would be cheaper, but that's the thrift store for you. Um, if you have any ideas, let me know. Look how beautiful the color is. It is so nice. It So basically 150 bucks worth of leather for $12, $13. You just got to know what you're looking for. You know, people who are pricing things at the thrift store, they don't necessarily know what they're looking for. They're just trying to get things off the floor, especially in my area. Thrift store is like a fast game. People are dropping things off by the ton very quickly. People are buying. So you just got to go often and, and know what you're looking for. That's it. So my favorite things in this haul, oh, there's so many good things. Whew. Guys, go to your thrift store. Go today. I'm sending you my good do-do for the week. Uh, definitely this. Should I make a dress? Oh, it's beautiful. It's thin. Like I could make a bag, but it is pretty thin. Um, then definitely this hand dyed, whatever it is. It's definitely wool, but I can't prove that. Mm, so disgustingly beautiful. Look at that. The blue, green, all my favorite colors. Rust, swear like a necklace. Then we got Neuro with Angora in it. <laughs> what a good day. I had to show you. I had to show you, I'm sending you my good thrift store juju. Get out there, go looking for it because the finds are there. Oh, so good. And especially now that everything is a little slower because the holidays are over. That's everything I wanted to show you. Uh, remember that we do have the live drop coming tomorrow, Saturday the 13th at 6 p.m. PST. So make sure you check that out to come and try and win the free hat. Uh, yeah. Have a wonderful day. You guys are great. Did you find anything good at the thrift store this week? Oh my gosh. Alpaca. Angora. Oh, so nice. All right, guys. Bye. Bye. What's your favorite thing? I love all of it. Thank you.